Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Katie with Rootball Exotics, and today we are talking about chameleon breeding, specifically veiled chameleons. Um, so I have my female and my male. Um, when we first pair them, we, we obviously don't keep them together, so we have actually this divider in between them so they don't get stressed out and they can't see each other all the time because they're very solitary creatures so they like to have their, their territory. Um, so what we do when we pair them is we put the male in with the female. You definitely want to supervise them at first so the male should like start showing um, like breeding colors so he'll puff up and get crazy colors and uh, he should Right, run over to her right away and kind of seem like he's going to attack her and he might get a little aggressive with her but he's going to try to like kind of pin her down um, and mount her so you really want to pay attention to what she's looking like so she should display receptive coloration um, or if she doesn't then she should at least not display gravid coloration so I can add photos of what those look like She displays gravid coloration that means she's not receptive so she's going to try to attack him too not have anything to do with him and be like get out of my house um but if everything goes well then you should get a lock which I can also show a picture of I think it was about two I'll have to look exactly how long it was um, before she actually laid the eggs after we got a lock. But you always want to, even if you're not breeding, you always want to have a lay box, which I covered in our chameleon care video. So always have a lay box for your female because she will lay infertile eggs if you're not breeding. But if you're breeding and you got a lock, the next time she lays, they should be fertile. Um, so then you'll just kind of excavate those, like you're digging up dragon eggs. It's really fun. Um, I, I put them in a perlite mix, so just like quite a bit of perlite. And then just do little dents and put the eggs in there. Um, we have had them at 82 degrees, I want to say roughly, um, for about, I think, the first two started hatching on day 190, so over six months. Um, once your female has laid, make sure to give her a lot of extra supplements and a lot of food afterwards because she needs to regain her energy. So let's check out those eggs. So these are Trix's eggs. She is a pied or translucent veiled chameleon. And the dad is a normal veiled chameleon, so I think technically about half of these should be pieds. Um, and they were a lot smaller, and they've grown like probably about double the size since we started incubating them. Two of these have already hatched, so this is kind of what they look like when they're about to hatch. They have a little kind of translucency a little bit. Some of them will dimple. Um, there's a lot of size variety, so I'm kind of interested to see if some hatch out smaller than the other ones, or if the small ones just aren't going to hatch out at all. So we'll see. We'll post more update videos on these, um, and then we'll do pretty much daily updates on little babies on our Patreon as well. So if you want kind of an extra exclusive look, then join our Patreon. You can start at even just like a dollar a month, which is only $12 a year. Um, and you get a ton of bonuses, you get discounts, and our exclusive Patreon feed, which is just like kind of what we're doing every single day. It's really fun. The link to our Patreon is in the description. And here's one of the little guys. Kind of spotted me and is running for cover because technically I'm a, I'm a predator, but there's another little guy. Let's see if I can get him. Hey buddy, I know I don't want to scare you. I just want to show you off. Yeah, leave me alone. Okay, so those are the two babies we have so far. Um, I put some food in there for the fruit flies because they're so small they can 
eat flightless fruit flies right now until they get a little bit bigger. Um, we miss this multiple times a day because they like to drink the water off the leaves. They don't need a basking bulb yet because they're super small. It's also like 82 degrees in here. Um, but they do need UVB, so we do have that on top for them. And they're doing good so far. They're exploring and eating a lot. So we'll do some more videos once the other ones hatch out. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we hope to see you on the next video. Say bye! <laughs>